everything is written down. Today Number is day eight. Do you want me to help you? No, I felt like this was not my hand. I was trying to figure out, wait, is this? Okay. Anyway, um, number eight. Eight things we have in common. So, no number eight. Eight things we have in common. <laughs> okay. Are you okay today? Yeah. You need some tea? That's a good idea. Tomorrow. No, tomorrow. 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 Okay. okay. So, eight things we have in common. Yes. The first one is, is number eight. The number, number eight, can I say it? You, you go, girl. Okay. Number eight is our favorite number. So yeah. we discovered this a while ago. I think it was like the second video we ever did together. Yeah. And we were playing a game, like newlywed game, asking questions. What's your favorite number? Favorite number? Nine? No. Yours is number three. No, not even <laughs> close. My favorite number is actually eight. What's yours? Eight. Oh my God, we're soulmates. And we realized our favorite number is eight. Yes. What are the chances? Yeah. There's so many numbers. Yeah. Okay, whatever. But why? Why is eight for why you? Why is eight? Yeah. I don't know. It's always been eight. Like, I feel like numbers have personalities and I always preferred the personality of eight. And my second favorite was six. And third favorite was two. And I really eight. didn't like four or seven and nine. I didn't like those numbers. Yeah. I don't know why. But wasn't eight also our, like, do you remember when we did the test, uh, um, the numerology test, and eight <laughs> is... Sorry, my mom. <laughs> mom, what do you want? It was like, she has her hair up in this bun, and she was holding three <laughs> eggs, and showing me, like, what's going on? I need eggs if you are going out. Okay. Oh, you want me to buy eggs? Please buy eggs. Okay. 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 Got it. That was really funny. So, okay, what were you saying? I was saying, oh, number eight, that when we did the numerology test, uh -huh. number eight was for both of us the same destiny number life or something path like number. life path number. That's 10, 11, 11 1967, 1988. So, so we do one plus nine plus eight plus eight. 26, yeah! My math is still. And then you do two plus six. So we're trying to get to a one digit number. It's eight. Five plus six. 2006. So, so eight. two. So we have the same life path number. That's incredible. So eight is only is our favorite number, but then it turned out our same life path number. Can I say why is my favorite number? Because uh, of the shape. If you turn it, yeah, horizontally, it's the, sh the shape of the infinite. It's the symbol oh, of infinite, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And that's why I like I it. I thought it was like, you know, boobs in a no, you know, it's it a could bit more be. spiritual than that. <laughs> Maybe subconsciously that's why it's our favorite number. You never know. We, second thing we have. Second thing. We both like long hair. I remember there was uh, one time when a friend of mine convinced me to speak to a psychic lady. And she's, she told me there is a girl with short hair who is... Uh, observing you so she's on your path and something and i said no it's not possible i don't like women with short hair i prefer women with long hair i'm not saying that i don't like women with short hair because they are out there gorgeous in, in their short hair okay but i prefer women with long hair so for me it was like no wait a second short hair mm, i don't know about that but at the time when this lady told me about this girl in the future with short hair at that time when she told me oh, you yeah. really had short hair because you showed me the photographs when i ruined my hair with bleach yeah. i was like i can't live like this so i took a razor and i shaved my head i never had short hair in my life except for that little period where i had short hair and i met you and then I took what I shaved my legs with, my razor. I took it and I just shaved. I just shaved my head. I was bald. And this is what I looked like. It wasn't bad, to be honest. I mean, but the growing out process was completely traumatizing. So number three that we have in common is that we both like warm climates mm -hmm. as if it's not obvious at this point because i feel like every single video we mention either how cold it is or how pale we are like <laughs> we just need some sunlight thank god your hair is like sunlight to me uh, what's the next one <laughs> next one so fourth thing that we have in common 
is that we both don't like going out. We are super homey, okay? We love our home. We love being inside and we love doing activities inside. Sometimes you ask me, so you wanna go out tonight? I'm like, no. You wanna stay inside and watch TV shows? Yeah. And you're the same. Yeah, I'm totally the same. I'm totally fine with that. The fifth thing we have in common is that we both wanna move and live close to nature. We're not city girls. <laughs> Oh, Number six, we both fall asleep super early. By 10, we are dead. Yeah, this is kind of your influence because I used to be really late night owl. I, yeah. I would go to bed at like 2 a.m. But now I wake up with you, so I fall asleep by like 9.30. Yeah, I wake up very early. Number seven is that we're both minimalists or we're trying to be. We are already. We, are. we, we got rid of so much stuff. Like, re yeah, True. we are minimalists yeah. and we love it. Shedding. Yeah. And number eight, we're both half Jews. Okay, so I'm Jewish from my mother's side and she's Jewish from Spain. So they were like in Spain and then they got exiled and then they came to Turkey or something like that. Yeah, this was the like very early wave of Jews Yes. escaping inquisition in Spain and moving towards East. So I have the Spanish Jewish bloodline in me and you? Same thing actually. Uh, on my mother's side they were kicked out of Spain during inquisition time and uh, a lot of Jews happened to go to Tuscany, you know, to Tuscany in Italy and they settled there and they changed their last name so it's a, it's a last name of converted Jews yeah. and it's Toscano from Tuscany and then they traveled all the way to Calabria and there is a lot of Toscano, you know, last name Toscano in Calabria, in southern Italy. And that's from my mom, mom's side. So it's possible that our genetic lineage is actually quite close in a way. I, f yeah. I feel like it so would be interesting if we took those DNA tests. I mean, I know you hate them. I hate those DNA tests. It would be interesting to see like, you know. Yeah, exactly. This is... This is the thing, you know. Do you want to give your opinion? I have a, yes, I, I have a friend and his mom is uh, Swedish. His father is from Spain and he lives in the uh, United States, okay? And uh, he took the DNA test and he goes, oh my God, I took it, it was amazing. And I discovered that I have uh, Swedish blood and I also have Spanish blood. And I was like, duh, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Is this like, and then what? I mean, if I, if I find out that uh, some of my genes are Chinese, and then what? Does it change my life? So that's it. So that's it for today. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. What was that? I don't want to kiss you this time. <laughs> that was cold.